Hi artists. I know last school year, multiple grade levels drew pictures of llamas. And I have to tell you, I just loved how they turned out. They were very cute and creative and just a lot of fun to make. I decided since it's winter time that we should draw a winter llama with a really big scarf wrapped around its neck. You can decorate it any way you want and even paint the background to do some snow falling around the llama if you want. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use a Sharpie to draw my llama today. The first thing I'm going to do is draw the head, which will be towards the top of my paper, but I want to make sure to leave enough room for the ear, and then I'm gonna put a hat on the other side. The first line will be going up and down with a little bit of a curve, just like this. Then I'm gonna make a tall ear sticking up. So it's gonna go up and down. If I want to, I can put the middle of the ear as well. So I'll just trace these lines and I'll put a little bumpy line at the bottom for the hair on the llama. I would also like to put some fluffy hair on the top of my llama's head. So I'll make a little straight line like this, and then I'm gonna make a bumpy line with different heights so it looks like hair. Now, I want my llama to have a hat on. If you don't want to make a hat, I would just make one more ear, just like this one. The hat is going to be sitting on top of the head and resting on the ear. So instead of making a straight line going across, I'm going to make a diagonal line for the bottom of the hat, just like this. Then I'll make the rest of the face a straight line, like this. Now it's time to make that hat. The hat's gonna start by this ear and it's gonna be a curve, kind of like a rainbow. Then the other side of the hat will start at the end of this diagonal line. And I want it, the hat to look like it's kind of folded over. So I'm going to make one, two, three curved lines. I always like to put some sort of pom-pom or tassels at the end of my hats. So I'm going to put a little pom-pom here and then I'll put a design going along the bottom of my hat, maybe some stripes, just like that. Now, before I do the face inside of my llama, I'll go ahead and do the scarf. So I know where my face needs to be inside of here. The scarf is gonna be very fluffy. So it's gonna stick out from the, the head a little bit. The scarf is a pattern which will repeat three or four times, however big you make it. So the scarf will start by making a horizontal line. Then I'll make two curved lines. One, two. Then I'll connect these curved lines with another horizontal line. I'm gonna repeat this pattern again by making one, two curved lines and a horizontal line. one, two curved lines, and a horizontal line. Now that I have a big fluffy scarf covering 
the llama's neck, I can make the body. So I'm going to follow this line down to make the rest of the neck and then the front of the llama. And then I'll kind of follow this line down to make the back of the neck and then the llama's body over here. If you want to, you can make the ends of the scarf hanging down just like this with some tassels at the end. Scarves will have two end pieces, so you can make the other end piece next to this one, or it could be fluttering in the wind, which I'm going to do. So this piece is gonna be kind of blowing out this way with some tassels, which will go off the page like that. Now I can focus on my llama's face. The first thing I'm going to do is give my llama two big eyes. I'm gonna make a curved line along the side of the face. Then I'm going to put a dot here. So it's kind of in the middle and make two more lines. It's almost gonna look like a curved triangle. One, two. I'm going to put a big circle in the corner for a highlight and add some eyelashes. Llamas and alpacas have very big eyelashes to protect their eyes. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Curved line, put a dot, curve and curve, and a big highlight in the corner along with those eyelashes. I'm going to color in the rest of the eye black. Now I can make the nose and mouth for my llama. In order to make it look like the nose and mouth are kind of sticking out from the rest of the face, I'm going to make an oval first, right in between the eyes. Then I can add a little heart for the nose and then a little smile for the rest of my llama. Now that I'm finished with the face, it's either time to add some patterns on your scarf. This is optional. Then you can add some snow in the background, which is also optional. When I'm putting designs on a scarf, I usually like to add some stripes, which will go in a horizontal direction on the tassels. But then on the actual scarf, around the neck, the, the lines will be vertical. And then if you want to add a little design in the scarf, like a triangle, for example, I like to do this every other stripe. So I'll skip one. And then I'll do the same here. So I'll put a triangle in every other square. I would like to show you how to make a snowflake with a Sharpie, if you would like to. It's pretty easy to do and snowflakes all look different so you can make up your own. What I like to do is make a plus sign using a vertical and horizontal line. Then I like to add two diagonal lines. It looks like an arrow pointing towards the center. So I'll make two diagonal lines at each end. 
Then to finish it off, I'm gonna put two more diagonal lines going through the center. I'll make a couple more snowflakes, making a plus sign first, diagonal lines pointing towards the center, and then two more diagonal lines going through the center. Now that I've added some designs to my scarf and snowflakes, it's time to add color. Since I'm going to paint at the end of this project, I really need to use crayons. Markers will mix with the water. So if you are not using paint, please use markers if you would like to. If you are using paint, I suggest using crayons. Really the only thing I need to color on my llama is the hat, the nose, and then the scarf. The llama itself can be left white. So I'm going to choose a nice pink for the nose. I'll choose a light brown or a tan to go around the nose. Inside the ear, I think I'll use an orange today. And then I always kind of like to make my hat and the scarf match. I'm going to paint the background blue, so really any color other than blue will work. I think today I'm gonna to choose purple and green for my main colors. So I'll make the bottom of my hat purple, as well as the pom-pom. Then I'll make the triangles in the scarf purple as well. Now that I'm done with the purple, I'll go ahead and use green to color in the hat. And the scarf. I'm gonna finish this off by using a dark green just to make a little bit of contrast.
perfect. If you don't have paint at home, you could leave your art like this and be finished. Or you could choose a light blue like this and just lightly color the background. Since I have my watercolor paint with me, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water, wipe it on the side to get rid of the extra, use the side of my brush to go around in the paint, and then I'll use that same motion on my paper. When my paintbrush starts getting dry, I'll dip it in the water again, wipe it on the side, get a little bit more paint, and continue. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up real quick so you can see the end result. There you go, artists. I used a lot of water and only a little bit of paint to kind of create a light blue sky with even leaving a few white spaces to kind of create that snowy effect. I added a little bit of purple to match my scarf and my hat as well. I hope you had a lot of fun drawing and coloring this winter llama with me, artists. I'll see you next time.